It's commonplace not only in places like Beijing, but also among uh, Western commentators to describe the Senkaku Islands just as a bunch of uninhabited rocks. In Clausewitzian terms, who in the world would undertake an expensive, per perhaps protracted military effort in order to defend these worthless rocks? Intuitively, that sounds right, doesn't it? They, they're not inhabited, they don't have water, they can't sustain economic activity or, or any of these other things. But at the same time, I think what China is attempting to do is to, to try to create a precedent that they can modify the international legal order, the order that's been in place under the United States leadership for the last 70 years. Uh, if the United States permits China to unilaterally change the rules of the game, then it may have a harder, it may have a harder time uh, pushing back effectively against that in the future. I think that's one reason the Japanese have uh, cast so much uh, importance on what happened in Crimea, because they see that as a similar effort to change the rules of the game by Russia, and that this might have sort of a contagion effect of, into East Asia to their detriment. Mm -hmm.